Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I decided to vlog today just because I haven't done it in a while and it's always kind of fun. But uh, let's get some better lighting over here. Oh, right there. So today, I need to hit the gym. It's an upper body day. And I need to desperately clean my apartment. Yeah, I'll just kind of take you along and we'll just, you know, keep it casual. Oh, I also need to order groceries. So we can do that together. Right now, I am making breakfast. Um, we're, again, running low on groceries, so I just kind of had to make what we had. So I'm cooking some just egg on the stove. I try not to eat just egg too much just because it is like a packaged processed food, but it's delicious, so gotta treat yourself. And then I burnt some hash browns that we're gonna eat as well with that. <laughs> I already had my coffee for the morning, and I did some journaling. I have been posting quite a bit more on TikTok as well as my YouTube shorts, which has been kind of fun. So go check them out. Show me some love, please. I had to run out of the house pretty quick this morning because I had my lab work done. I had to go get my blood drawn and I had to be fasted. So I just wanted to get over with this morning. So I didn't get as much of a chance to do my morning routine um, and relax. I really value my morning routine now. It is my favorite time of the day when I get up, I journal, and I read my book, and I just get my mind straight for the day. I'm telling you, it is very powerful to have a morning routine or to at least like journal, meditate something to yourself to get you ready for your day, you know? I always feel better on the days where I make time to do all that. So since I didn't get to do it much this morning, I might, might continue a little bit of that after I'm done eating. This is the book I'm reading right now, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So far, so good. I love to read, very motivating. As always, please leave book recommendations down below because I'm always looking for more. And since we're being scattered this morning, I want you guys to see my hoodie that just came in the mail from Dark Sport. So cute. Look at the back. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, let's eat breakfast. Okay, we're ordering groceries. I like to do this. It saves a lot of time. And I order from Sprouts. The cost for ordering groceries, not for delivery, but for pickup, is like a dollar. So I feel like it's really worth it just to save that time. So I've got my little grocery list right here. I'm gonna place this order and then I'll pick it up later today. I finished ordering groceries. I have to tell you guys something. I recently started eating fish again. If you didn't know, I was vegan for four years. Um, over four years, I hit four years in June. And just due to some personal health things um, and just where I'm at, it felt like the next best step to include some more protein sources, animal-based protein sources, just to help me eat more whole foods. Anyway, I'm sorry if you're disappointed. I get it. But with that said, I still am completely dairy-free and I wanted to recommend to you guys my favorite dairy-free brands because not all of them are created equal. Some dairy-free brands are terrible and give vegan cheeses and vegan dairy a bad rap. So, brands I love include Violife. They make such good products. So they have a feta cheese I love, their regular cheddar cheese I love, they make a Parmesan cheese. And then another brand I love is Kite Hill. Kite Hill makes really good cream cheese. Some brands I really don't like include Daya, Daya, however you say it. 
their cheese is not great. It doesn't melt right. So if you are dairy free or you're aiming to be dairy free, don't give up on the very first dairy free replacement you try. There are some really good ones out there. So try Violife and try Kite Hill. Those are some of my favorites. I'm gonna do my makeup for the day. I think I'll be more productive. I'm feeling a little bleh. So I think if I do my makeup and get ready, sorry about this angle, you guys. If I do my makeup and get ready, I might just feel like a little bit more fire under my ass, you know? Um, last thing I'll say in this video about the whole vegan fish thing is it's not a decision I came to lightly. If you've never been vegan, you probably don't even care, but for my vegans out there. Not a decision I came to lightly, and I also didn't want to make a dedicated video as I've seen so many YouTubers do before when they stop being vegan, just because I don't want to advertise as if I think nobody should be vegan. It just wasn't really working for me anymore, but I, I just don't want to try and convince other people to stop because everybody's different and it's just where I'm at right now. If you have any questions, just let me know. And so far, fish is the only plant-based product I've been eating. So again, just let me know if you have any questions. If you're vegan, don't let this rock you. Because if it's working for you, keep doing it. Okay, now we're done with that. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'll see you when my makeup's done. Ta-da! Makeup is done. I got a new blush. I could blend it a little better. But I feel like it's making my under eyes look a little more like yellow. I don't know. Oh well, it's fine. Anyway, I have a lot of tidying and cleaning to do. So I'm just going to get through it super quick. And I'll just montage this. So let's go. We're doing the kitchen, the laundry, the bedroom. I need to wash my bedding. Let's do this. Truths. You just found the world's number one fitness, health, and entertainment podcast. Saw you walking in the street one day. It was a Sunday. You with flowers in your hand, you were dancing with your headphones on, didn't care Everyone was watching you were moving in the beat Cause it's swerving in the street just to get a glimpse of you You were posing for them, yeah you were striding for them Cause you know just what you do So if I never told you baby you should know get started on cleaning I just realized how much there, there's to do a little overwhelming but I'm gonna take a pause for now I will load more in the laundry when the load is finished but I just feel dirty now after cleaning the whole apartment so I'm going to hop in the shower and rinse off I made protein oatmeal before I go pick up all the groceries. So I need to go to Sprouts to get the groceries are ordered and I also have to go to Costco because Costco has some things that Sprouts either doesn't or they just have it in a bigger quantity, obviously. So I'm just gonna fuel up before and I think I'll pop my macros on the screen of the meals I've had today, just, just for fun. You know, you can see protein content, things like that. But this is just oats, chia seeds, a little bit of soy milk, and one scoop of organ protein powder. Yum! 
is actually pretty good. I'm just waiting in my car for my groceries, feeling like a princess, and then we're gonna go to Costco. But I showed this on my Instagram and my TikTok, but I didn't show YouTube yet. I got this new Disney backpack because I should be going to Disneyland sometime this year and I wanted one in general. But look how cute it is. I was gonna get a princess one and then Dallin was telling me he doesn't think I'll use it enough and I, need, I should like try and get one that's more, I don't know, not so obviously kiddish. So I found this cute mushroom one with Tinkerbell. So it's my purse now, I'm obsessed with it. Also I've noticed I say the word obsessed a lot. It's okay though. I'm feeling exhausted today, and I've already had caffeine, so I don't know what's going on. Okay, we're back from both stores, and I'm feeling pretty hungry, but I'm going to do a quick grocery haul of everything I bought today. Let's go. Okay, first up from Sprouts, we got some sourdough. This sourdough is so good, so flavorful, love it so much. Then we got the oatmeal cookie silk oat creamer, love this stuff. I got two packs of quick cooked rice, which I like to meal prep, but if I'm short on time, it's just nice to have something you can cook really fast. Garbanzo beans, probably my favorite beans. Also got some protein in them, of course. Grape tomatoes, love tomatoes. These are my favorite vegan protein bars. Again, just something to grab on the go if you need a snack quick. That's high in protein, so I really like those. Asparagus, because veggies of course. Bananas, and then seitan was the last thing we got at Sprouts. So seitan is one of my favorite protein sources. It's just gluten, if you don't know. So if you're gluten free or celiac, don't eat it. <laughs> but it has a good amount of protein and not really any fats or carbs. Then we got two Costco. So Dallin and I love sparkling water, so we get the Kirkland brand. This one's lemon, lime, and grapefruit. They're kind of an acquired taste, but I just love carbonation. It kind of satisfies like that soda craving for me. And then we got bagels, of course, strawberries, blueberries, tomatoes. I should have just waited to get tomatoes and not gotten them at Sprouts, but it's okay. So I got a small tomatoes and a, another pack of bigger tomatoes. Ah. Mixed greens. I've been loving making little mini salads with lots of lemon juice and the tomatoes on them. So yummy. Then we got zucchini squash. You guys, this feels weird, but I did get some cod. So I've been trying to branch out and just have like a bunch of different fish. So we've had tuna, salmon, tilapia. We're gonna try cod. This is Dallin's favorite granola, pumpkin seed granola. I got this bread for Dallin. I can also use this, but I really like the sourdough I showed you earlier. Dave's Killer Bread, white bread done right. And then last but not least, we got a thing of oat milk and a bunch of Honeycrisp apples. So all in all, a successful grocery run. I'm starving right now, so let's find something to eat and put all these groceries away. Hello, guys. I put all the groceries away, and I made my lunch. My second lunch. <laughs> okay, so it's a burrito bowl. I have seitan on the bottom, black beans. A little bit of fresh cut onions, a white onion, paste picante salsa. I just love that salsa. It's got so much sodium, sodium in it, but I just, delicious. Romaine lettuce, a guac cup, which I got at Costco. They sell like prepackaged guacamole cups and they're so delicious and flavorful and yum. And I put lemon juice on top and then I did the BioLife feta, also delicious. Half the package of basmati rice, if that's how you say it. So I'm just gonna stir all this together. I love a good burrito bowl. And again, I'll pop the macros on the screen for the bowl. I'm telling you, if you have not tried um, BioLife, get in there, girl. Not one part of me misses dairy at all. I found such good replacements. Yum. I'm just keeping up on my goal of foam rolling every day. I got a massage this week, and I finally found a massage therapist that is like very sports oriented and she demolished my knots it was really good it's gonna be most effective if i'm taking care of my body by myself every day so we're still on the grind of the foam rolling but anyway i'm watching a course on body priming and testing mobility and where you might have tight muscles so i'm just watching on my laptop here while i multitask and foam roll specifically my hips. I'm waiting for Dallin to get home from work because we're gonna go to the gym together. But I'll check back in with you guys when Dallin gets home and it's gym time.
I really didn't want to go tonight, but we got it done. We finished the whole thing. You guys, I got a new protein I've been trying, but this is by Beam. Be amazing is like what it's short for. Vegan protein. This one's peanut butter chocolate. No, never mind. It's peanut butter smoothie. And then after this one, I want to try a chocolate one because I feel like plain chocolate is always, always a hit. Give this one seven out of 10. We're going to put some creatine in our protein shake. And I'm a crazy person and I just do protein, creatine, water. All right, we're going to sushi with some friends. Thought I'd give you guys a fit check. I wanted to be comfy, so this is what we picked. I got my knockoff Ugg slippers. These jeans from, what is it called? I got them secondhand at a thrift store, but they're pretty popular. I'll just pop the name of them on the screen because I can't remember what they're called. And then this cropped sweater from Hollister. 